Good morning everybody, it's your friend Kevin and I'm going to do something a bit different today. I'm going to bring in um, one of my spirit guides to uh, speak with you instead of pulling the cards um, and um, they've come with a message. I've meditated pretty heavily this morning um, just to see what that message is about and so let me just bring them in. Hello friends, it is a great pleasure for me to come and speak with you. Many of you know if you followed this, I am known as the Alchemist. This is the name that the young master Kevin has given to me, as many have given names to the various energies that they have allowed to come through and speak. And we want it because there is more than one energetic energy that works through individuals. So we, collectively, we, the energy of we, and this is which, which we come to explain. How does that work? In your world, in your physical world, there is what you perceive to be one of you. As the physical becomes the non-physical, then the energy, the essence, the vibration that is part of that physical existence, time, space, they call it time-space experience, joins with other energy, other vibrational energy, and becomes one cosmic flow of energy. It isn't, as in your physical world, individual people, if you will, having human experiences. It is one cosmic experience. And it is rather difficult to explain what the non-physical and the physical between the two because there are very few times in your physical journey where you will experience this phenomenon or this reality because it is real. Those who are known as the Hicks couple, Esther Hicks, has called her collection of spirits Abraham and brings the teachings of Abraham to explain and understand the laws of attraction, that what you are vibrating to in this essence, in this ether land, in this mm, space land, is indeed being manifested when you... Mm, begin to see it, begin to feel it, begin to taste it, and, and feeling it has to be the joyful feeling of receiving it. This is the teachings of what she calls as the Abraham, but in the very beginning, when Miss Hicks and her late husband, who is now in non-physical form, came initially, it was a... Um, a translation, a translation of the energy that was coming through, being downloaded, if you will, and then expressed out to the world. And sometimes that takes a bit of getting used to, as does this young master, Kevin, who has come and has decided to take this journey forward, sifting and sorting and bringing in the light of spirit. Now, how in the world is this possible? Well, it's been possible throughout your life in physical form because this is where you come from. Now, I'm not going to suggest that there are 
energies and spirits that randomly come. They do, but not to the extent to where you train and learn to lower your own physical vibration in your physical experience and open the pathway for the highest good of mankind and serve mankind with these messages. This is a choice. And one of the things that is such a blessing in your world when you come to take a physical experience is choosing. What do you wish to choose? And when we see folks at this point in the time-space continuum where the planet, the galaxies, the photon belt is moving quickly, you will notice that time is rushing forward. You may, this, this, this started with the multitasking, the ability to focus on one thing and be able to do another thing at the same time. And in your physical experience, experiential world, you see it more and more and more. You are witnessing the use of devices, electronic devices, a small handheld device that has the capability of communicating through more technology instantly with someone in a different time zone, someone in a different place. And yet, while you are operating such devices, your physical body is also operating many times machinery. Lots of times your vehicles. And so technology increases to where those land vehicles become automatic. And pretty soon, when I say pretty soon, perhaps in a century or so, as this world continues, the power of the sun, which has never gone away, will be used to power up the planet Earth, and this is how it's supposed to be. This is how it is designed to be. Of course, in your time-space lifetime, your physical body would have to transform, transmute, and change, which is what in your physical world you call the aging process. The process of being a bit like a photocopy. Every year there's another copy. Every year there's another copy and each copy gets slightly weaker as the aging process is. The challenge in your physical world is the fear. The fear that this life that you have, this time space, the fear is that this is it. And I have come today to remind you and to let you know. There is great power within you and as well there is great love within you. There is also an extension of what created you. So to explain this a little more, let's just imagine that you would be one of the computer chips that you see and all the circuitry is lining up to create great energy and it all works such, in such wonderful fashion. We'll call this the energy of love and happiness and joy and manifestation. And then there happens to be a circuit that perhaps is not working. A part of the circuit is sluggish and slow and not quite fitting in and feeling a little isolated and feeling a little damaged and feeling a little whatever you want to call it. In your physical experience, that's an emotional challenge. And these emotional challenges then begin to affect the other parts of the circuitry. 
until such time where the emotional challenge, these circuits have started to burn out, not work, not function, becomes so lost that the rest of the circuit cannot continue. This is when and where the world of spirit, the extension from which you are, leaves a balance of the love and the joy, the peace and the harmony, the great light of the great divine matrix. This particular circuit, this particular energy, this particular vibration must be recalibrated must be realigned and in order for the circuitry to be refreshed, there is a return, a return to that loving space known as source energy. And source energy allows the return of the spirit that has been within the physical body and unfortunately, those atoms, if you will, the people, the connections, the relatives, the ancestors, those who are connected to that spirit, that individual, then have to readjust their energy while feeling disconnected and in your world called grieving the loss of this person. So I come now with the message not to lower the tone or to cause you to feel anything less than love, happiness and joy, but to remind you and to let you know that while the spirit world, the extension, you may want to call it God, you may want to call it universe, you call it what you want. There are many parts of your planet that have many belief systems. They are all now crescendoing into one beautifully orchestrated piece of spiritual and physical energy. The energy is electric. The energy is phenomenal. You are reaching the point where you have the ability to explode with light. And that light comes with love and happiness and joy and peace. But to see it, to experience it, to move through it, to vibrate with it, there is somewhat of a struggle going on where the world that was is leaving and the world that is be to become is entering. So those of you, there are some that will glide through, move through, anchoring the joy and the happiness and the peace within the earth to create this matrix, this energy, this network, this mesh. And what I've come to tell you is spirit world of which my or this existence, this vibrational energy is part of the great cosmic source of energy together. We are collectively so incredibly proud. If you are listening on this, for all of you that are joining into this and realizing that there is something greater available for you and indeed there are so how do you access it well in your world your physical world your experience to this point if you have been within yourself for more than three four decades sometimes two it's easy you will notice that the younger generation is picking things up quite quickly and they're processing things faster than perhaps your own generation did. However, your own generation still has the ancient wisdom 
still has the ability to connect the world that was, and we might want to call them legacies, to the world that is becoming. So, dear ones, you are very important as part of this understanding. It is challenging in your physical world to drop the labels, to drop the identities, which really is the ego, which really is the fear, which really is the letting go, which really is the saying goodbye. But please understand that at the end of the day, the earth moves into its shadow space. It's called nighttime. The body goes to rest. And the spirit travels, travels in dream world, travels in deep sleep, travels in deep rest. And at this time, you may be experiencing some fatigue, physical fatigue, some feeling of melancholy, like, oh, I don't know what I want to do, maybe sluggishness. Perhaps you're waking up at two and three in the morning, as the Master Kevin has been doing, for no real reason. It is the influence of the photon belt that you're moving through. We are moving quickly. The physical body is downloading rapidly, meaning that your spiritual world, your intelligence, your light, is changing. It is your choice as a spirit that is having a human experience to continue this journey and be awed by it. And indeed, through this journey, you yourself are closing, or rather mm, completing there, more of the work of your ancestors. Your ancestors that perhaps were part of the circuitry, that they themselves understood and then were distracted and left. Circuitry wasn't completed. And so now they gather with you and they come with you to complete circuitry through you. So in closing, before I go, we are at the winter solstice coming up in your world, the part where dormancy occurs and there will be several days where the shadow work will be going on. Sort of a few days, maybe a week or two prior to that shortest day of the year. And then extending into perhaps New Year. But there are a few days in there where the sun and the shadow work is taking place. So... In closing, and before I go, and the message I wish for you to know is, focus on what you have great experience in. And I am not speaking of your work, your career. That is just what you do to support yourself and your heart. If you're an engineer, you're passionate about engineering. If you're in medical, you're passionate about medicine. If you're in clerical, you're passionate about doing the clerical work, all of those things follow your lifelong passion. I am speaking of experience in communication, teaching, experience in love, experience in public speaking, experience in gardening, experience in anything that you have some experience with whether you are qualified by paper, doctrine or study, or whether you simply happen to be really good at something. And those skills come as a result of what lights you up, what your spirit is asking you to follow. Now, I will go as far as to say that for many of you, you're not quite sure what that is. Well, how do I know? Get quiet. 
call upon your guardian angel or spirit guide and you have many of them think of yourself and a duplicate of yourself that is in spirit and a duplicate of that and when you are thinking of this you can simply say in gratitude in love in respect that you're grateful for learning the clarity with which you are ready to serve you are grateful for finding clear path forward you are grateful for being on the path of your soul your soul path connection you are always connected to your soul whether it is in this lifetime or another one your soul then joins with other souls and becomes a collective so pay attention to what you want to do your heart is always telling you always telling you your ego is trying to stop you that's fear there is always fear in moving into unknown territory the fastest way to remove the fear and go bravely into the unknown territory is through love follow the love follow that great feeling of love connect with more loving light people you don't have to have a big fuss with those who are no longer serving you you can simply move forward and moving forward with love trusting that this is for your highest good there is many affirmations one young master kevin uses daily thank you for leading me on the path of my highest good you see my friends there is a greater power than you there's that force all the time when you lean back and settle in and allow it to flow through you many of your religious groups say let go and let god it's the same thing release and allow source energy to do its work the choices will be presented to you always and there will be a choice that will light you up if you feel like oh this is fun oh i like that yes please oh thank you thank you those are the choices you follow then the fear steps in which is part of your past that says the limiting beliefs that you have believed that's not good that's not right that will upset this person that's too this that's too that it's much this it's much that it's the sabotaging which keeps you stuck so in moving forward being part of this matrix understand that you are in physical form right now and that your spirit is part of a bigger circuitry and your circuitry will always have you always lead you where you need to go for the highest good of yourself and all mankind thank you we all love you and wish you many blessings until next time be well thank you um <clears throat> thank you spirit i hope that's been helpful um and thanks very much for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell bye <laughs>